Hello, good morning, good evening, or uh, good afternoon, wherever you guys happen to be. Um, just checking in with everybody on the potion deck. Um, I have reworked the deck so it is now able to be made public on the print on demand uh, websites, and I have set it up on somewhere uh, that is not a Dropbox so it can be downloaded for free. Um, the new version has been updated with graphics and it has an updated card back that is original um, that I spent the last couple weeks trying to put together. Um, and it is available on three different spots. Everything is in the post description if you want to check it out. Uh, if you want to stick around, I'll go over what we've got here. Right? So we've got the, the potions that we know and love. We've got the ones refrigerate once open potions for the, uh, the colder regions. Right. Uh, the only differences you're going to see on here are the uh, potion names have been slightly modified so that they're IP friendly. And of course, the wording on the cards is now um, more universal and less specific. And then we've got the champion potions. Um, and then I wanted to show the difference between the, the print on demand vendors that I have set up with. Right. You got uh, the first run I did was through uh, makeplayingcards.com. This is on poker card stock. It's got the linen texture. Um, these feel really good in hand, and the print detail is really, really, really good. These cards came out really nice. Um, and I did give away that first uh, prototyping set. These are from the Game Crafter. Um, they have a more traditional feel to them. Um, they use the same card stock um, that uh, Magic the Gathering uses. Um, so it's very crisp. Um, you got really good printing detail. Feels really good in hand. And then in addition to linen texture, they also have this protective UV coating, which makes them uh, resistant to wear and tear through frequent handling. Though a lot of us use card sleeves. Um, and I did, or was noted that the color saturation is a bit deeper on the Game Crafter prints. So it's really a matter of preference as far as uh, your, how you like your cards to feel, right? If you've already got a lot of um, MPC um, prints already in your collection, you may want to go through them to get a deck, or you can go through uh, this new vendor. Personally, I prefer uh, the Game Crafter, and any future releases I do are going to be through them. Um, for the free download, you can get that through drivethroughrpg.com. Um, any of the stuff that I put up that will be available for free, you can print at home. Um, I did, for the potion deck, I set it up. Um, nine cards to a page. Um, it's an A4 format, so you, you should be ready to go. Uh, one page in there is the card backs, the rest of the cards. So you guys will have to um, check your print settings and make sure you are printing them however you need to print them at home to get them double backed or print them in gloom. But however you want to do it, it's up to you. That's the beauty of do it yourself, man. You guys can do it all however you like. Okay. Uh, as far as the um, print the demand decks, these are I've set them up in player sets to accommodate a five player game. Right, you've got eight of your basic potions of healing, um, and you've got six of your strength and defense potions. Those are the most commonly ones that are found while playing the game. Um, and then anything else that you could buy at the shop, um, you have. I added a uh, last chance potion. It's just a one uh, hit point. Um, you can drink it right before you die. Keep you dying. And it's relatively cheap. It's easier for your uh, your parties to get a hold of before running out. You get eight of those. Um, and, you, of course, you've got your frozen potions right here. And then you've got your six um, champion potions. And those are for your evil wizard or your good wizard. If they want to throw a curveball um, in the direction of the party, you got some options there. As far as card sleeve sizes, um, you can see that these fit perfectly. And standard card sleeves that you would use for like Magic or Star Trek or any other CCG. And then of course my um, my preferred brand is uh, Dragon Shield. Um, I love those for these cards. Alright. Uh, everything you need is in the links in the description to go get them. If you guys have feedback, um, don't be shy. You can leave comments here. Um, leave reviews wherever you get yours from and I'd be happy to get any feedback at all um, uh, later if there's any kind of updates or um, if there's any future additions to the set i'll get those put out as well thanks